Hi, and welcome back to Cat Run Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today we will be discussing my top picks for the week of November 9th, 2016. Uh, and before I actually go through my top picks, uh, I'd like to apologize for not posting my Sunday reads yesterday. Uh, I had a little mini issue with YouTube and my uploading system. My video actually corrupted, and I will instead of posting a super late Sunday reads this week, I will be posting two Sunday reads this upcoming Sunday. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, so let's go into my top picks. All right, first off on my tops for this upcoming new comic book Wednesday is Alters number two. Um, this is another one of Aftershock Comics new runs. This is all about a transitioning superhero and how Charlie, Charlize, uh, is this alter character and her juggling both transitioning from a man to a woman as well as dealing with these newfound powers. Um, I really love the first issue. I'm really hoping the second one's just as good. I'm hoping to see a bit more about the villain. And um, yeah, definitely picking it up. Uh, next is probably one of my biggest picks for the month, Batman TMNT Adventures number one. Uh, if you read the Batman and TMNT run that came out last year, you'll know how fantastic that was. This one actually ties into the Batman animated TV series and the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon TV series. Um, the art styles look great. I'm loving some of the variant covers I'm seeing. I can't wait to see it. I love turtles. I love Batman. Um, you know, what nerd doesn't? But uh, I think it's gonna be great. I'm totally excited for it. I'm so down. Let's see what happens. Uh, next on my top list is Red Hood and the Outlaws number four. Um, I'm a huge Red Hood and the Outlaws fan. I have the full complete run from New 52. I was so brokenhearted when they broke them up in the New 52, the original team, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Um, I'm not 100% on board yet with this new team, but I'll pretty much read anything that has to do with Red Hood. Um, they're starting to endear me to, to his new teammates, so, you know, we'll see where number four takes us, but I'm, I'm starting to really like it. Uh, next on my top picks is Scooby-Doo Apocalypse number seven. Um, I'm loving the craziness. The artwork is fantastic. You can tell that it was written by people who really enjoy Scooby-Doo, and they loved the fact that they got to turn it on its head instead of monst- instead of- People just wearing monster masks, they're fighting real monsters, and Scooby-Doo's kind of a badass in this series. Um, you know, he's got a cybernetic eye, and it's... It, it makes more sense that a dog is cybernetically advanced and is able to talk than just able to talk. I'm enjoying it. I think it's great. Uh, pick it up. Number seven. It's awesome. Also, the first trade for it is coming out soon if you're interested in that. So potentially I could do a Sunday reads for it coming up. Um, yeah, next is Aftershock Comics Shipwrecked number two. Um, Shipwrecked number one, the art style was, it really drew me in. It really involved you in a lot of the emotions that the character was going through. I'd like to see more about what tests has he actually endured through. Um, who was going after him? What exactly had, what caused the shipwreck? What caused all these horrible things to happen to this character? I want to know more. I'm interested. And, uh, I'm definitely picking up the second issue. And last is DC Young Animals imprint. Their last book, I believe they have slated so far, Mother Panic. Uh, Mother Panic is basically a Batman-esque character for the young animal imprint. He, she is in Gotham, 
So we could have crossovers with her and Batman or Batwoman or any of the Bat family, really. Uh, I'm a huge Bat family member, fan, as you can see behind me. Um, I love the Bat family. I'm so excited to see what DC Young Animal is going to do with her. I know the artwork's going to be crazy and the story's going to be a little out there. But I know she's kind of like a Robin Hood-esque kind of character, and I know she's from the Gotham Elite, so I'm really looking forward to see where and if they're going to bring up Batman, how they're going to be dealing with that. Uh, I know it loosely ties into DC Rebirth, but not really. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see where this goes going forward. And yeah, that were that was my top picks for this new comic book Wednesday. Uh, comment below and tell me what you will be picking up this new comic book Wednesday and what I could potentially be missing out on. Uh, like this video uh, if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more comic book videos and check out any of my older videos for content. Uh, I do new videos and new uploads every single day. Um, so I'm Caitlin and this is Catrun Figures. Bye.